Hi, I'm Leif Davidson, and I'm the Senior Product Manager for IBM's Webster MQ. And today we're going to be talking about Webster MQ, specifically about the latest release, Webster MQ version 7.5, and how the key features enable your business to become more reliable, secure, responsive, and flexible. Webster MQ version 7.5 is a new way to buy and deploy Webster MQ, and it allows you to take further advantage of all of the features of the Webster MQ family. This will enable you to maximize the value you get from your investment in Webster MQ and allow more of your business to benefit. But to explain these benefits, it would perhaps be best to step back and put the recent updates and releases of Webster MQ into context, explaining exactly what Webster MQ is and how you can use it to aid your business outcomes. Webster MQ provides simple, rapid, reliable and secure application connectivity and integration through messaging between applications. So that's connecting up and exchanging information and data between any number of applications, systems and services anywhere in your enterprise infrastructure or beyond. It helps businesses overcome the problems that are frequently associated with moving data between different environments. And it does this while allowing the applications themselves to be loosely coupled, ensuring there is no application layer dependency on the hardware platform, the network, or the availability of the other applications being connected. By ensuring the applications themselves are loosely coupled, it frees the application programmer from knowing anything about any other application being connected. If the applications can stay simple and focused on the business logic, then not only are development costs lower, but the cost in both time and effort of maintenance for the years that the application will be running will be much lower as well. As well as this benefit to the application design, Webster MQ also provides full tracking and logging of the messages, providing reports on success and failure. As well as this, there is also transactional integrity, along with once and once only delivery. And it's these features that are generally seen as fundamental to why Webster MQ can really help your business. Let's be sure to understand why, shall we? Reporting and tracking of your messages and indeed of the data that's moving through the enterprise is just as important as ensuring actually succeeds in moving from the sender to the receiver. It's no good if your business is unaware that there's been a success or failure in a process. Even if you have a very low failure rate, being unable to detect failures when they happen will mean that you need to add in layers of unnecessary code to try to discover and respond to failures when they actually do occur. Far simpler to rely on the native capabilities of Webster MQ to track messages and provide that critical information. And as for transactional integrity and once and once only delivery, this is based on how applications and infrastructure respond to failure. Failures are always going to occur. And once you start to try and code your applications to handle those failures, you'll be increasing time, cost, and complexity of these applications without necessarily increasing business value. Webster MQ can ensure that if failures occur during the movement of messages, any transaction in flight will not be committed. And if the message needs to be delivered again, it won't end up being duplicated, but will eventually be delivered once a working path is found. When dealing with any type of business information, but certainly when transactions are involved. Both of these features are central to explaining why Webster MQ provides an essential service to thousands of businesses. And Webster MQ has been providing this critical capability on multiple platforms for nearly two decades, allowing applications to connect across these platforms and send data in the form of messages reliably and securely. There is a version of Webster MQ, either a client or server, on virtually every commercial platform. And as businesses explore 
how they can extend their enterprise infrastructure to mobile devices, there are also solutions for these architectures as well. I'll now explain how those capabilities are now more accessible with WebStreamQ. Now WebStreamQ has been enhanced at every release and there was a major new release in fourth quarter 2011. This was WebStreamQ version 7.1 and this included a number of extremely important changes. They were enhancements to security and performance and also the addition of multicast publish subscribe. There were also a number of additional ease of use improvements for installation and migration. There was one other enhancement, however, which very much laid the groundwork for the subsequent WebSurMQ version 7.5 release. This was that the WebSurMQ telemetry product was shipped as a part of the WebSurMQ package. And this made it easier for all WebSurMQ customers to access this code and then to buy license entitlement as a chargeable component. And it's use of this feature that connects WebSurMQ to remote physical and mobile devices using the MQTT protocol. As WebSurMQ telemetry runs on WebSurMQ, it can be seen as an integrated extension to MQ. And in order to make WebSurMQ telemetry easier for customers to access and use, it seemed sensible to include it within the WebSurMQ package itself and thus drive the extension of WebSurMQ networks to include connectivity to those mobile devices. Following rapidly on from the availability of WebSurMQ version 7.1, version 7.5 is primarily aimed at further extending the accessibility to all of the WebSurMQ related function in the same way that the 7.1 release extended the access to the MQ telemetry component. WebSurMQ version 7.5 does the same by now including WebSurMQ advanced message security and WebSurMQ managed file transfer in the package. These capabilities are now chargeable components, but the code is included within the WebSurMQ package. And each of these components still requires separate license entitlement, but they are now much more clearly an addition to the WebSurMQ server component. Now let's be sure we understand what these additional WebSurMQ extended capabilities are. First, WebSurMQ Advanced Message Security. Now this builds on top of MQ by delivering end-to-end -end message security. As we know, WebSurMQ sends data as messages between applications. And it's these messages that move through the MQ network. And they may be written to disk for persistence or through the queuing mechanism. Although MQ itself has robust security, much of the information that's sent between applications needs to be kept private, not just flowing on the wire, but at all times that it's moving from application to application. What WebSurf MQ Advanced Message Security does is ensure that the message contents are encrypted from end to end, from sending application to receiving application even while the message has been written to disk in flight. And it's an important point to understand that there's no need to change the applications themselves. WebSurf MQ Advanced Message Security can encrypt without additional programming or changes to the sending and receiving applications. Then there is WebSurf MQ Managed File Transfer, which was called WebSurf MQ File Transfer Edition prior to the WebSurf MQ 7.5 release. Many businesses still rely on applications receiving data that's held in files. However, moving files from system to system to allow that data to be shared can be extremely unreliable, insecure, and hard to manage, track, and control. WebSurMQ Managed File Transfer allows customers to take advantage of their MQ infrastructure to send files as MQ messages. A WebSurMQ Managed File Transfer Agent acts as an endpoint, packaging up files as messages and sending them into the MQ network. These move reliably and securely through the MQ network as messages until received by another MQ MFT agent, which then unpacks them back into a file, all the while benefiting from the usual MQ reporting and logging. There is also a superset of the MQ MFT agent function called the WebSurf MQ Managed File Transfer Service. 
and this is deployed on top of a MQQ manager. This can act as an MQ MFT agent for better performance when moving local files, but also can perform other functions such as bridging to an FTP server, intercepting existing FTP flows and moving them through the MQ infrastructure instead. Any of these WebSphere MQ managed file transfer solutions can bridge to Sterling Connect Direct, enabling the two-way exchange of files between that environment and a WebSphere MQ network. Also, WebSphere Message Broker has a WebSphere MQ managed file transfer agent built in as a node, enabling it to be a part of an MQ managed file transfer network, adding file processing to the file movement within a business. So WebSphere MQ version 7.5 delivers all of these WebSphere MQ capabilities in one single package with one single install, something never before available. Customers order MQ, and all the code will be delivered at once. It will be easy and simple to then add entitlement for the additional components, WebSphere MQ Telemetry, WebSphere MQ Advanced Message Security, or WebSphere MQ Managed File Transfer. Customers can now ensure that they maximize the benefits of WebSphere MQ within their business, moving data between today's applications and securely extending the enterprise from the mainframe to the mobile for tomorrow's opportunities. We are also now pleased to make available a new part, WebSphere MQ Advanced Edition. And this is a single part that provides entitlement to all of the previously described MQ server-based function. Customers buying entitlement to WebSphere MQ Advanced Edition version 7.5 will still get the same WebSphere MQ 7.5 package, but will be entitled to deploy all these capabilities on the same system. WebSphere MQ, WebSphere MQ Telemetry Standard, WebSphere MQ Advanced Message Security, and WebSphere MQ Managed File Transfer Service. And we believe this will make availability and entitlement for all WebSphere MQ function much clearer and simpler, enabling more customers to take advantage of all of the function now delivered by WebSphere MQ. We are also very happy to make WebSphere MQ Advanced Edition version 7.1 available on ZOS as well, to allow customers who already have MQ for ZOS to add entitlement to WebSphere MQ Advanced Message Security and MQ File Transfer Edition by buying a single PID. Again, making sure it's quick and easy to take advantage of these great ways to extend WebSphere MQ and to get more value and benefits out of the investment in this messaging solution. We look forward to continuing to work with our many customers to ensure that WebSphere MQ continues to add new value to your business. Thanks for watching. Please visit the URL shown for more information.